Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play the Blackwell Convergence. Last we left off, we were going to be visiting Monique Stallman of Cubestar Films and figuring out her ghost story, as she was really hesitant to call it. But before that... Joey? This had better be important, sweetheart. Let's try a chat. You think we should have stuck around last night? Please, next to those stiffs, the dead are agreeable company. Ouch. You think we should have stuck around? Please. Okay. So let's ask him about the park gallery. See? It was a good thing we went to the gallery. Hmm? You didn't want to go, but we ended up getting a case. Don't look so smug, kid. Things like this will happen all the time. <laughs> you think that Monique woman is on the level? Who knows? Can't hurt to check her out. <laughs> and you can plan your next move, That's but... all for now. Sure. He'll actually, basically, that's your, your hint system in this game. The plan your next move thing. Alright, so we're all good here. I think we can check I'm in with... I'm ready if you uh, are. Hold your horses, will you? I'm coming. Jeez. Check in with Nishanti, I think. Nishanti isn't home. Hmm. She isn't home. Okay. So we can go back to the park gallery. It's not open yet. Oh, hi again. Hi. I'm glad you came back. You left so early, I thought you didn't enjoy it. Oh, not at all. I was just tired. It was a long day. No problem. I know all about those. Anyway, I have to go over some stuff. Feel free to look around. That's nice. Hmm. This painting is called The Dark L I don't think we're going to be really fine. Well, I suppose we could always try talking with her. No. Stop it. Stop. Hi, Josie? Yes? Hi, Josie. Can I talk to you for a bit more? I'm kind of swamped, but okay. So, how's everything going? Oh, you know. Busy, busy. This is my first public opening. I want it to be just right. Huh. Tell me about Claude. Oh, I found him on the street. Literally. He made his living painting street scenes and selling them to tourists. But he's too much of a genius for that. Don't you think so? Oh, yes, uh -huh. definitely. See? I knew he was the right choice for this gallery. You know, I have to say that I really do not like the sort of person who discovers someone at their worst and uses that either to gouge money or is like, Oh, yay! Aren't I so special? I discovered this man on the street! Like, as if he sprung into existence just for her to discover instead of having his whole life, his whole existence as an artist especially, you know, that leading up to that point, that didn't exist until she discovered it. Yeah, I do take issues with that. How much do these paintings cost? Oh, I can't reveal the prices until the public exhibit. But if you're interested in any of them, let me know. I'll discount it for you. Oh, no thanks. I'm not really in the market for any art right now. Translation, she can't afford it. <laughs> oh, all right. But if you change your mind, let me know. Uh-huh. What's her opinion on Monique? How well do you know Monique Stallman? She's a nice lady, although I don't think she'll be back. She didn't seem to really appreciate Claude's work. I'm sorry. No worries. It's not everybody's cup of tea. She's pleasant enough, but... Thanks, Josie. I'd better get going. Sure, Rosangela. I'll see you at the opening tomorrow. As Joey points out, she's plastic. She's nice enough, she's enthusiastic, she cares genuinely about what she's working on, but... There's not a lot of substance there to that that you want to dig into and get to know. At least not in my opinion. Come in. Huh. Hi, Monique? Oh, hello. You're Anishanti's friend, aren't you? The writer? Yeah, that's me. The writer? You left early last night. Yeah, sorry. I was kind of tired. No need to make excuses. I wish I had the judgment to leave like you did. I had to endure that place for three more hours. Hmm. Those account books go back at least two years. I can't imagine being that organized. He keeps staring at Monique, and <laughs> he's not looking at her face. <laughs> Joey! Monique looks pretty cool and confident behind that desk. I'm gonna come over here and look I at your window. I from up here. Hmm. This poster is for a film called Water Under the Bridge. It stars Frank Lyons. Huh. Eh, 
then let's try looking around as Joey. Just some books for the number crunchers. I don't think we need to bother with it. There are other things here worth looking at. And you know what he's talking about? He is talking about Monique. Hmm, I have to say the view is quite nice from up here. You are a pig. Ah, uh, the quivering of her back means that I did good. Damn it, Joey. Get over here and away from her and seriously screw you. All right. So, what do you do here at yeah. CubeStar? I'm the executive producer. In a nutshell, I make sure everything gets done, on time, and under budget. She whips everyone into shape, huh? I like her. Joey! So, you have a ghost story, is that right? Oh, yes. It's really nothing. Kind of embarrassing, really. Nishanti said it had to do with Frank Lyons. Yes, it was all over the news. You know what happened. Uh, do I know the story or don't I know the story? I know the story. Yes, he died of a heart attack while filming his last scene, right? Yes, that's what happened. So what happened next? Next? I hear him. You hear him? Over in Central Park, near the Gothic Bridge. It's where he died. I pass the area every morning when I go jogging. I can swear I hear him, calling me. Really? It's like he's... Well, it's probably just my own guilty conscience. Hmm. We profited from his death. There's no denying that. But what could we do? Give the money to charity? We have investors to pay back. Anyway, that's my question. Investors. Story. Take it or leave it. I say we take it. We haven't been to the park in a while. Gothic Bridge Central Park. Monique looks pretty... But one more thing. You've been seeing probably the cat sticking its head out here. Let's ask about it. I saw a cat on the window ledge outside. Oh, her? The company adopted her. She belonged to Frank. Thanks for the chat, Monique. Sure. Alright, I guess there's nothing else to add about the cat. Let's go. And thus we have a new location. The Gothic Bridge. Let's go check it out. What do you mean? No. What, what do you mean? Well, looks like this case turned up, huh? I think that's Frank Lyons. He looks different in person. Of course, he isn't exactly a person anymore. Ouch! Joey? Can I help you? Joey, that's Frank Lyons. Is he now? It's so rare that we know the spook's name in advance. Saves so much time. Yeah. Alright. That's all for now. Sure. Well, let's, let's, uh, let's try engaging with the guy. Um, hi there. I knew you'd come. What? Are you Frank Lyons? Um, oh, haha, ha, very funny. Let's get back on track, huh? <clears throat> I knew you'd come. What? You did? Yes, I did. Wait, no, that's not right. Oh, what's not right? Never mind, we can do it again. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. Why do you keep repeating yourself? Uh, no. No, that's not right either. What are you talking about? Look, don't worry about it. We can do it again, right? Do what again? Okay, one more time. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. I think... He's... Listen, I have to tell you something. No, no, that comes later. Try and concentrate, will you? Let's get through this and then we can go home. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. Could I ask you a couple of questions? Huh? Oh, come on. That's not even close. Let's try it again. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. Uh, okay, how'd you know I'd be coming for you? How did you know I'd come? I know you, Vaughn. Perhaps too well. Eh, uh, what? Yvonne? Who's Yvonne? Um, you are? <sighs> okay, no problem, we'll just start over. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. I think he's stuck in a scene. How did you know I'd come? I know you, Yvonne. Perhaps too well. And I gotta say, as someone who has been on the stage before, yes, you do repeat yourself like this sometimes. 
Look, I just want to talk to you. Are you sure that's right? Yes, just for a few minutes. No, I don't think that's right. Let's try again, shall we? What are you talking about? <clears throat> I knew you'd come. I don't think I'm making a lot of How progress here. I know you. Alright, let's try... Listen, I have to tell you something. Come on. The boat's going to leave any minute. What? No. Listen to me. We have to talk. I... What? Gah, now I'm messed up. Let's start over, okay? <clears throat> I knew you'd come. This isn't working. Never mind. We'll talk later. Yeah, I think you need to practice some more. Clearly I need to practice. Joey! You're better at talking to the spooks. Hello? Oh, hey. You with the company? Company? Oh, I guess you're not. They told me to meet him out here. I guess they're late. Uh, Frank? Are you Frank Lyons? You recognize me? Sure. That's... <laughs> thank you. That means a lot. Hey, I live to please. Sort of. Not at all. Well, it looks like Monique's leap paid off. She told us that Frank Lyons died of a heart attack while filming his last scene. So... So, Frank, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just waiting to finish up. Just one scene to go and I'm done. Finally. Done is the word, yeah. Hmm? Never mind. <laughs> done is the word! Joey! So, we're on a movie set? Yep. The film is called Water Under the Bridge. Really? Yeah. Actually, I'm probably not supposed to tell you that, but we're hardly Paramount Pictures or anything. Just don't tell anyone, okay? Oh, lips are sealed. Mm-hmm. Are you sure this is a movie set? Yeah. Where are all the lights, equipment, cameras? You know, I'm not sure. They should be on their way. I don't know what's keeping them. Could you tell me the last thing you remember? What do you mean? I've just been hanging out here. And uh, before that? I was... hmm... Funny thing. Yes? The Minetta. What? The Minetta. Yeah, I was there. I'm always there. Mentioned a place called the Minetta. Uh... Listen, Frank, you seem like a swell guy, but I have to be honest. You're dead. What? I mean it. You've been haunting this area for months now. Ha. Very funny. My career might have one foot in the grave, but it's not dead yet. My ship will come in. You'll see. Hmm. As a side note, I do find it interesting that when the ghosts are oblivious to the fact that they're dead, they have that sort of echoey sound to their voice, but when they realize what it, what they are, they sound just as clear as the, well, lucid individuals. Well, let's clarify here. So, tell me about yourself, Frank. Oh, I'm just an actor. I just walk and talk the way they want me to. <laughs> oh, come on. There's gotta be more to you than that. I don't really need anything else. I'm not in the magazines, but I think I'm okay with that. I just want to finish what I start. Yeah, I can understand that. What can you tell me about Monique? Miss Stallman? She's a good lady. I just wonder where she is. You expecting her? Yeah. We can't start without the executive producer, can we? I could swear I saw her run by a couple of times, but why wouldn't she stop? Ah. I don't think Monique is coming, Frank. Hmm. She usually comes to every shoot. I guess we can do it without her, but it'll just feel weird. Oh well. Hmm. Anything else you can tell me about Monique? Not really. I just hope she gets here soon. Trying to We're dig so for her. so close to finishing this movie. Huh. I wonder what's keeping her. Trying to dig for information about Monique? There, Joey. So, tell me about yourself, Frank. Oh, I'm just... Okay, so nothing new there. I just want to... What was this about the Minetta? Just what is the Minetta? Minetta? Yeah, what is it? The Minetta. I'm famous there, you know. You can always find a willing ear there, and some donations for the fund. The fund? What fund? Yes, they are very kind. Why are you talking like that? Talking like what? <laughs> like you... Oh, never mind. Um... Just what is the Minetta? Minetta? Yeah, what is it? I think this is Minetta. Hilarious. I'm famous there, you know. You can always find makes. a willing ear there, and some donations for the fund. The fund? Yeah. Okay. Why are you talking like what? Like you... <laughs> okay, so... Well, see you around. Sure. Bye. 
I got something to say. I got something to say. Sure, what's up? Talking to this guy is like talking to one of them schizos. Oh, you mean multiple personality disorder. Yeah, you think he's one of those? Could be. It would explain a lot. Two spooks for the price of one. Fantastic. <laughs> Figures, we finally get to go to the park and the weather is miserable. At least there's nobody around. That's true. So who is Frank Lyons anyway? I'm afraid I'm not up to date on pop culture. He's a movie actor. Big? Not really. I don't think he would have been as famous if it weren't for the news reports. Huh. Fame after death, huh? Lucky guy. Yeah, happens from time to time, doesn't it? Minetta. I wonder what it could be. Do you have a phone book? Phone book? Who uses a phone book anymore? <laughs> Sorry I asked. And that is actually a reference to Blackwell Unbound, where a lot, Lauren did a lot of her lookups through the phone book. Well, let's get back to it. Yeah. But we're actually out of time for this installment of Let's Play Blackwell what Convergence. About what about me? Eh, good enough. <laughs> what do you mean? No. But I'll what have to see you mean? in the next installment. Mm. We're going to have to try and figure out what to do with Frank Lyons what here what another time. Eh, good Hope to see you then. Mm.